Hello lovely book dragons and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about buddy reads. I absolutely love buddy reading and it is something that I have been doing for years now under different forms with different people but it's something that I really enjoy doing and I thought why not make a video on it. So today what we're going to be doing is talk about buddy reads and first of all we're going to be talking about what are buddy reads, what are the different forms that they can take on and what are the pros and cons of each of those forms. Then I will tell you what I think, what I prefer and lastly I'm going to share what you think because on my Instagram a few weeks ago I asked you to tell me whether or not you buddy read books and if you do what are your pros and your cons of them. So today we're going to be bringing all this together. What are buddy reads? Buddy reads are quite simple. You buddy read a book. So you take a buddy or multiple buddies and you pick a book and you read it together. It is a little bit of a twist on a book club because traditionally speaking book clubs are a little bit more of you pick a book, everyone reads the book on their own and then everyone comes together and around tea or coffee or whatever people talk about said book. So buddy reads are kind of like book clubs if you think about it but instead of being for example with the same club all the time you can switch. You for example read um, a book with one person and then you read another book with five other people but it's not always the same people reading the same books unless you have a book club or a, a few buddies that you read a lot of books with then it is kind of like a book club but technically speaking buddy reads are just mini book clubs but that are not in time so it's not always the same people reading all the books together. In my many years of buddy reading I have come across two main ways of buddy reading. The goal oriented version and the free spirit version. The goal oriented version is really like what it sounds like. You and your buddies pick a book and you split it up into different amount of chapters or amount of pages and you give yourself a goal of reading x amount of pages or chapters per day, per week, per every other week, that is really up to you. Most traditionally speaking, the buddy reads that I do is that we pick, for example, a certain amount of pages or a certain amount of chapters and we read them per day. The most common way is around 50 pages per day, what I've come across with, but that can really vary on the group you're with and the book you're reading and the people you're doing it with. But that is the goal oriented version of buddy reading. You take a book, you split it into a different amount of goals. You can even say, hey, listen, this book is 500 pages. We want to finish it in five days. We need to read 100 pages per day. Or this is a 500 page book. We want to finish it in two weeks. You just split it up however it works for your buddy. So what are the pros of the goal oriented version? The very first pro for me are the discussion and the theories that come from this kind of buddy reading. You really get to take the material and sink your teeth deep into it. Everyone comes across different things in books, right? Something that I will pick up on, maybe my buddy won't pick up on, or something that my buddy will pick up on, I won't pick up on. And if you do the goal oriented version and then that everyone at the end of set amount of chapters or set amount of pages comes together, talks about what we just read and there you can really theorize about, about what's happening, see if everyone is getting it, pinpoint little things that are happening that are really interesting or if you're already already a little bit further along in the book you can see hey remember we talked about this in the first section in the first 50 pages because we were wondering so now here it's explained so that's really fun you can really digest the book in a very different manner you can really go into details and everyone brings something new to the table and you have a lot of time to theorize and to come up with what you think the book is going to be about, what you think is going to happen and that's just really really fun. And since everybody picks up on different stuff maybe you can help other people understand the book better or you can just see why if something isn't working for you and the other person can maybe explain hey listen this is also not working for me and it's because of this reason and help you understand the feelings that you have towards your book. The other pro about the goal oriented version is that it is pretty much no stress. Why is that? Because you choose. It is really your choice on the chapter amounts, on the pages amount that you read for any given day or week or whatever. You agree with somebody and you say, hey guys, let's read this amount of pages. You read it and it's no big deal. So technically it is not a lot of stress. Unless you're a mad person and you're doing 10 buddy reads at once, but who does that? Right? The first con of the goal oriented version is really the flip side of the last pro and that is that if one day you don't have time to read and you have the goal of 50 pages 
then you fall behind and then it gets stressful. If for one or two days you cannot read, then all of a sudden you have to read 100 or 150 pages per day. And that can get stressful. That can get really intimidating if you are reading multiple books at once or if you're just busy and then you fall behind and then it can be stressful. My second con for this way of body reading is that if you are loving the book, you cannot binge read it. So if you are saying, hey, we're reading 50 pages per day, but at page 150, you cannot wait and you want to know what's happening and you just want to continue, you can't because you're body reading it. I mean, you can, but then it's kind of defeats the purpose of a buddy read. But if your buddies are okay with it, you can always ask them, hey, listen, I'm loving this book. Is it okay by you if I continue? And if you have nice buddies, they should say yes. So I think that you can work around this con. The free spirit version of buddy reading. The free spirit version of buddy reading is a little bit like a book club, let's say, because you don't have the goal oriented version where you pick the chapters or the pages and then you talk about the section that you just read. With the free spirited version, you just read the book, each one at their own pace, and you talk about it with your buddy when you have finished the book instead of talking about it with each section that you're reading. The first pro and the obvious pro of this way of body reading is that everyone can read at their own pace. There is no stress. Slow readers can take it slow. Fast readers can binge read their book. No one is either putting too much pressure on the other person or slowing down the partner. Everyone can just read at their own rhythm and that can make it a lot less stressful for a body read. The second pro for the free spirit version is that you don't have to read multiple books at once. Now, why am I saying this? Because with a goal oriented body read, if you're reading 50 pages per day, for some people that is all they can read in one day. And so they will only be reading that one book. But for a lot of us, reading 50 pages or 30 pages in a book per day is less than what we would like. So because we cannot advance with that book, then we pick up another book on the side because we're like, okay, that's my body reading book. And this is the book I read on my own. With the free spirit version of the body read, you don't have that problem. You read the book at your own pace, you finish it, you pick up the next book, you finish it and so forth. The first and also obvious con of this free spirit version of body reading is that it doesn't necessarily always feel like a buddy read. For some people, a buddy read really is talking about each part of the book that they're reading, setting goals together. And if everyone is just reading at their own pace, and for example, if you pick a book with a buddy and then your buddy reads it in three days and you read it in three months, then it doesn't really feel like a buddy read anymore. And maybe you're also less inclined to read it because you think, well, they've already finished the book, so why am I even rushing? It doesn't really matter. The second con of the free spirit division is that you cannot have theories or you cannot discuss things that are happening in the book because most likely the person ahead of you doesn't remember exactly which chapter things happened at, and then they don't want to spoil you and they will not say anything because if you say, hey, I think that woman is pregnant, they cannot tell you because they know and then you cannot theorize and you cannot have the same discussions that you would have if you were reading it at the same pace. So those are the ways of body reading that I have come across. And I just try to have two pros and two cons per way of body reading. If you have another way that you body read, leave it down below and let me know what your pros and cons are. And let me also know what your favorite way of body reading is. Now I wanted to see what you guys thought and see what you replied to my Instagram answers. So I will be looking on my laptop because I have the answers there and let's see what you guys think. The very first question I asked on Instagram was whether or not you body read books and 83% of you said yes you do body reads that is actually a lot of people I didn't know how popular body reads are I mean I know that among my friend group body reads are very popular I have a lot of body reads I basically body read I think over half of my books that I read per year are buddy reads, but I didn't know that 83% of people that answered would have, would buddy read. And I think that's really impressive. And I'm, I'm glad because I think buddy reads are fun. So let's go see first what you like about buddy reads. And then now, you know what, let's start with what you dislike and then end it on a positive note and see what you like. So the first thing you said was bookaholic crazy said what I don't like about buddy reading pressure of not being able to DNF the book. That is actually very interesting because I don't feel that pressure. Like if I'm buddy reading a book and I just hate it, I'll just tell my buddy like, hey, I'm going to DNF it. But I do remember that when it's a new buddy read, if it's a book you your first buddy read with a certain group or with a certain person, then that pressure is definitely there. I remember that my very first buddy read with Ruby was a book I definitely wanted to DNF, but because it was our very first buddy read, I didn't dare. So I didn't DNF it. I hated it. Give it, give it one star, unhauled the book. Don't even remember the name of the book. Done over. But Nowadays, I am comfortable enough to say, hey, listen, I'm not liking this book. I'm just going to stop it. Let's continue with the negative responses. One of my friends, my 
good friend from work and from real life said nothing. So that's very positive. You like everything about Buddy Reads. That's fantastic. Someone else said, when I'm loving the book and the goals don't allow me to continue. So this is something that I had already mentioned in the cons. And I agree with this. When you're loving a book, it is hard to just stop and wait for the next day, especially if you're reading something that's super thrilling and you just want to know what's happening. Someone else said something that I never would have thought. When someone reads more than what was scheduled for that day and gives spoilers. Like, why are you friends with people like that? Why are you friends with people who spoil you? No, cut them out of your life. You don't want that. Spoilers are no-no. Then my lovely Natasha said, the stress we feel when we do not accomplish a daily goal. Yes, agreed. That's something I also mentioned. If you have daily goals and you are not able to meet them, then it can be stressful. Spades Read said, sometimes it's a slow read because you're not only reading in your pace, but in someone else's pace. That is true. If you are a fast reader and you have a slow reading buddy and he says, hey, I can only read 20 pages per day and you are used to reading 100 pages per day, then it can slow you down. The lovely kind of insanity says, I don't like the pressure it can have sometimes to read a number of chapters with deadlines. And yeah, that's true. I actually said that the deadlines, the chapters are maybe a source of not stress, but it can also be a source of stress if you're very busy and you cannot reach them. The lovely Philippa says, I like to have daily goals and to discuss as we go. I hate to be buddy reading too many books at once. Yes, yes, can relate. I absolutely relate to this. And the final answer I got was from Lara Suarez, and it's, she said, sometimes I want to keep reading, but I already accomplished the goal set for the day. And that's something that we already mentioned, and that is something that can really deter you from doing buddy reads. And so now let's finish off on the positives on what you love or like about buddy reading. Bookaholic Crazy said, we can discuss without, afraid of, without being afraid of spoilers and gush about favorite scenes. Yes, absolutely. That is what makes buddy reading worth it for me. That is why I love buddy reading because I love to gush about scenes. I like to talk about the characters. I like to talk about what's happening. And that is the reason I buddy read. My friend from real life also said, um, exchange my feelings and <laughs> rant about the huge cast of characters. So my friend that commented this is the person I read Game of Thrones with or A Song of Ice and Fire. So yeah, <laughs> um, it is nice to be able to say, God damn it, who is this person again? Why are there so many characters in this book? JL Faba said, uh, exchanging ideas and talking about things that we liked about the book. So yes, definitely. That Fanbooks once said, I love that I can have people that I can talk to about what's happening in the book and that is liking it as much as me. And that is true. That's again what we said earlier, just being able to discuss and talk about it Redmond Reed said the interaction with the other people and being able to talk about what I read right away. Holly Tash said exchanging ideas and creating deeper friendships. Absolutely, absolutely. I th I'm so glad you brought that up, Natasha, because the friendships that I've created through Buddy Reads are just amazing. I mean, uh, most of the people that I'm friends with online, I've never met in real life. And the reason I'm friends with them is because of Buddy Reads. And I'm so happy that I do Buddy Reads. Spades Reads said, sharing theories while you read and discovering if you were right or not. Yes, absolutely. That is the fun part. Kind of Insanity says, talking about it each week, sharing our thoughts, our theories, it's really fun. Absolutely. And to finish off with Lara Suar, she says, making predictions with others. So yeah, I see that we are all in agreement that reading the buddy, buddy reads can be really, really stressful if you don't reach goals or if you're too ambitious and you're in too many buddy reads or if the pages that you set yourself per day are too much. They can also slow you down. And the other negative side is that if you're loving a book, you cannot continue because you're buddy reading. But the positive aspects are that you can theorize, you can discuss things that are happening, you can gush together and you can create deeper friendships. And that is the reason why I love buddy reading. So there you go, guys. That's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for participating in the polls and in the questions. If you want to participate in further videos, I will leave my Instagram down below, which is where I'm going to be asking most questions. I'm so glad that we got to talk about buddy reads and let me know in the comments down below if you like buddy reads, what you like about them, what you don't like about them, and in general, what is your favorite way of buddy reading. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!